Hi Kingdom Kids, it's Pastor Angela and I am so happy to meet you online. I miss seeing you in person, but we are all keeping safe and healthy in our homes. Isn't God great that we can learn about Him anywhere we are? So let, let's keep doing that. We have been learning about God is our friend and reading the stories about how Jesus were, was friends to different people. First, we learn about Jesus and the little children. Do you remember that? Jesus said, let the little children come to me. And like those little children, we can come to Jesus by learning about him, even if we don't get to go to the church, the actual building of our church. We're here online, so that's great. And then we learn about Jesus teaching Martha that the most important thing is to spend time with him. Then we learn about Lazarus, um, the brother of Martha and Mary, and how Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead so that other people can have faith and believe in God. Isn't Jesus amazing? Well, we have one more Bible story about how um, God is our friend and another person that is a friend of Jesus. We are going to read a Bible story from the book of Luke, chapter 7, verse 36 to 50. If you can read on your own, you can pause this video to read straight from your own Bible or your Bible app, or you can listen along. I'm actually going to read from a children's Bible called the Bible Storybook. This is called The Two Debtors. You ready? Jesus was eating with a Pharisee named Simon. While he was eating, a woman cleaned Jesus' feet with tears, her hair, and very expensive perfumed oil. Simon was unhappy that Jesus let the woman do this to his feet. Jesus chose to tell Simon a story to help Simon better understand why Jesus let the woman clean his feet. Jesus said, Two people owed a money lender money. One person owed enough money to pay 500 people for a day's work. The other person owed enough money to pay 50 people for a day's work. They could not pay back the money. The lender didn't make them pay any of the money back. Who do you think was the most thankful? Who do you think was the most thankful? Simon answered, the one who owed the most money. Do you think Simon was right? Do you think the person who owed the most money was the most thankful? Yeah, that's right. Let me tell you a little bit uh, more about the Bible story and some background information. See, in the Bible times, the good thing to do when people visited your house is to wash their feet. Think back. There were no cars, no buses, no planes, no trains. There were donkeys and horses and camels. There were wagons. And there was a lot of walking. Can you imagine walking so much on dirt roads? Well, you, their feet got really dirty. So, when you visited a person's house, if they're a good friend, they would offer to wash your feet. When Jesus went to Simon's house, Simon did not offer to wash Jesus' feet. Simon wasn't really being a good friend, was he? But the sinful woman was. She washed Jesus' feet with her tears and expensive perfume, and then she used her hair to dry his feet. Can you imagine using your hair to dry somebody's feet? Well, the sinful woman honored Jesus when she did this. Honoring Jesus is showing him how much you love him. How can you show Jesus that you love him? What are some of your ideas? Do you think the sinful woman loved Jesus a little or a lot? It's a lot. That's right. She loved Jesus a lot. And Jesus said the sinful woman was forgiven and her faith saved her. Isn't that amazing? I want to show you my most expensive bottle of perfume. 
Are you ready? What do you think it looks like? Big, little, glittery, not glittery. Is it colored? Is it not? Well, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> this is my most expensive bottle of perfume. Were you surprised? It's so small. It has a glittery outside, but the inside's not very glittery. And I think it smells really, really good. And I want to smell it right now. Mmm. I hope you can smell it, but you can't. But this is my most expensive bottle of perfume. And guess what? It was a gift. Yep. I didn't pay for it. It was a gift. Do you know that Jesus gave us a gift? A very expensive gift that seems very small. This is the same gift Jesus gave the sinful woman. Jesus forgave her and he said, your faith has saved you. So if we have faith in Jesus and ask Jesus to forgive us, he will forgive us and he will save us. It seems so simple, like this little tiny bottle of perfume, but it's the best gift we can ever receive. Isn't Jesus great? Do you remember what our Bible memory verse for the month is? It's John fifteen fourteen. You are my friends if you do what I command. Let's say that together. You are my friends if you do what I command. John fifteen fourteen. Good job. One more time by yourself. Great. I hope you remember that verse because it's very important. See, Jesus had a lot of followers in the Bible, but his friends followed him and they did what he told them to do. The children and the disciples, Martha, Mary, Lazarus, and the sinful women, they were all friends of Jesus. They followed Jesus and they did what he commanded. Are you a friend of Jesus? Our big idea this month is to love God. We love God by spending time with Him. There are many ways to spend time with God, and one of those ways is worship. When the sinful woman washed the feet of Jesus, she was worshiping Him. How can you worship Jesus? You can sing songs to Him, that's right. Worship is telling God how awesome He is. Thanking Him for all the good things that He does. What are some things you can thank God for? You can thank God for your life, your family, your toys, your food, your friends, your church. So many things, right? God is very awesome. Can you say that? God, you're awesome. You're amazing. You're great. This week, I have a challenge for you. Every time you pray, I want you to tell God how awesome he is by using the alphabet. So for example, we start with the letter A. God, you are awesome or amazing. B, God, you are the best. C, God, you are cool. Hmm, what other words can you think of? So when you tell God he's great and he's awesome, Use the alphabet. Can you remember that? Hey, leave some comments below in, in this video and let's go through the alphabet. God is awesome. God is the best. God is cool. What's letter D? Let's try to go all the way to letter Z. Okay? Great. Now, I also have a craft for you to do. So ask your parents to help you download this craft from the link in the description. Let's see if you can see it. Okay, <laughs> it looks like this. You are going to color it and then you're going to cut around the vase and there are instructions on this so you can ask your parents to help you follow it. But the vase gets attached to the feet. Now it says to use brad fasteners. If you don't know what that is, you can ask your parent. But if you and then if you don't have brass fasteners, you can use yarn. 
that or a string that works too. Well, thank you so much for joining us online and learning about Jesus and the sinful woman and how we can worship and honor Jesus. I hope that you guys will have a wonderful rest of your day and a blessed week. You can always connect with us online here, facebook.com slash HICC Kingdom Kids. <laughs> if you need any help or any questions, let us know and let us end this with prayer. God, we just want to say thank you that we have the internet to, that, to connect with each other and to learn about you in this time of need in, uh, all around the world. Um, Lord God, we just pray that you heal every, everyone who is sick with the virus and keep everybody safe and that you use your power to get rid of of this virus and this pandemic in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that you protect every single person, that there's no more um, no more people who will get infected who or who will get sick. Lord Father, we thank you for giving us peace and hope and joy, and we thank you for loving you. We honor you, we love you, we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless everyone.